Hey guys, it's Mandy on the Real DVD Watchers and today I'm with you here to review the 2010 movie Unstoppable. This stars Denzel Washington and Chris Pine. It's directed by Tony Scott. It's basically about a train that sort of through human error and accident, as they say in the film, um, essentially is on the tracks unmanned and it's got, like, it's carrying flammable and toxic stuff. Very dangerous, essentially. And it's going at high speeds and through some sort of thing, the, the certain brakes weren't connected or something, or um, I don't know the you know the logistics of it, but it was essentially it's unstoppable. Um, and it's and as kind of shit as it sounds, you know, with a title like Unstoppable, you're just sort of like, mm, not really want to see that. It's actually a really cool flick. It's kind of by the numbers. And I'm not saying I haven't seen it before. You know, you've got Chris Pine who's sort of on the rocks with his wife and he's down in the dumps and he's the rookie who's coming in and taking the jobs from the, the old guys and then you've got Denzel sort of like the old hag is, um, not hag, but you know, he's the old guy, he's down the ropes and he's got his wife's dead and his, he's got two daughters and blah, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but saying all that, I don't care. It's a really engaging film, and actually, once it starts getting into it, it's just really, really cool. And it doesn't, and it like it zips along really nicely. It doesn't, and it doesn't get into it too fast. It's got some nice setup with the characters. You get to see things. You get to see, you know, and then it gets the ball rolling and rolling. But it zips along at a really good pace. It doesn't drag it out, and it's not too short. It's about the perfect length, you know. Michael Bay could really learn a thing or two from Tony Scott because this didn't like, you know, it didn't just like stretch things out and have this all clunky and, you know, unnecessary stuff. It just, it was going along with this nice zippy fast pace. It kept you hooked, it kept you entertained, it had good characters, had some good emotional stuff, had some little funny bits, some little funny lines, you know, and then the end, it, it amps it up and it keeps amping and amping and it's like, okay, how are we going to keep continuing this and continue this movie for an hour and a half? Um, without making it like, you know, seem stretched out, seem too ridiculous, as it were. I mean, obviously it's a little bit silly, apparently it's based on true events, quote unquote. I don't know how true they are, whether like a train just, like an unmanned train just was on the tracks and then they were able to stop it pretty quickly, probably something like that. Um, I haven't looked into it to see how true the events were. But yeah, Denzel's a great actor, Chris Pine, really good. Um, you know, he's good in Star Trek, liked him in this, uh, interested to see where his career goes, you know, aside from Star Trek sequels. And uh, yeah, it was just a really cool action flick, so if you br brushed it off, because you're just like, hmm, unstoppable, really? It's about a train that's unstoppable, really? Don't, don't, because it's actually a, a very cool flick and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So that's my review of Unstoppable, and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.